Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Splits. Now I wasn't going to do this video. Why? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, if you've seen one review of a tank, you've seen them all. And I'm not going to be reviewing this tank traditionally. But what is it about this tank, the Turtle Mark 1, that has got everybody's backs up? I mean, talk about having a tank that is hated by the good folks of YouTube. I mean, this thing really is totally, totally hated. But why? All right, it came in a crate, which is gonna piss anybody off. I get that because, you know, crates, no matter what the tank is, is just annoying. But it goes more than that. I mean, the hatred towards this tank is really, really palpable. And I've seen a lot of videos about it, you know. Oh, it's like the testers said it was the worst tank ever. It's the worst tank ever. False advertising. Everybody should be up in arms. Well, let's set a few things straight, shall we? I tested this tank. I was one of the testers. And you know what? On the test, this thing was broken ASF. It uh, unbelievably broken. First game out, I think I did about 4K and got a mastery. It was that broken. And we all said it was totally, totally OP. And I'll give you a couple of comments that came back from the testing community. The turtle is too strong. It's more like a tortoise, but better at tier eight. Wow, the turtle is just like a tier eight badger. I mean, I've got a 71.43% win rate in it with an average damage per battle of 1500, which isn't high, but it is a tier eight. And I have nothing but fun in it, to be honest with you. And I generally find it's not the tank that happens to be generally the issue. It's how you play the darn things. And the turtle is no exception. Okay, you could go out there thinking that it's like an AT-15 or an AT-15A with absolutely solid armor it ain't that solid but what does it have well it doesn't have mobility it's a big lumbering heavy td so it's slow as heck but it does have a pretty decent gun it's got a great reload and it, the gun is pretty pretty accurate and to be honest with you its penetration is awesome realistically and it dishes out a fair amount of damage for a gun that has an insanely good reload time. I mean, seven seconds is pretty bloody good for something that's dishing out 350 damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage, guys. It's also got good gun depression, and therein lies the key. Why does it have good gun depression? Well, you're meant to keep it sort of hidden a little bit. It is a TD after all. And if you are gonna roll out on the battlefield in this thing and stick it in harm's way, thinking you're gonna bounce everything, then more for you, because that ain't the way it works. Now, as TDs at tier eight go, I fully agree, this is not the best. But where is the hatred coming from? Is it because we've got a tank in a container that's not broken, that's not OP? Is that, do we expect them to be broken or OP? Then again, more for us. I mean, having an OP tank or having a broken tank isn't gonna make you play the tank any better, guys, to be perfectly honest with you. And I find the Turtle a rather balanced tank, not the easiest, not the most noob-friendly of tanks, but it is rather balanced. And therein, the, the, herein lies my problem. So what is the issue with this thing? Is it because, as I say, we're annoyed as players because we've not been given an OP or broken tank. Well, I scratch my head here because if this would have been broken or OP, then the moaning would have been it's broken and OP, just like we get with the Smasher and the Annihilator. And you have to wonder, can we ever win? Is, is there anything, you know, are we ever gonna be satisfied when there's a balanced tank? Well, I, I guess not. And I think the Turtle is a balanced tank. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And a lot of it depends on how you play the darn thing. Now, okay, I've just shown you a replay in Uprising, but I had bloody good fun in it. 
And now this is a proper replay, which I've literally just played right now. Okay, and I didn't have any issues with this tank. I really don't have any issues with this tank. It's a situational tank. It's a tank that needs a little bit of TLC. You stick this thing in harm's way, you're gonna get smacked, and that's your own fault for being bad player and sticking it in the wrong place. But if you play this thing calmly, coolly, collectively, and the way it should be played, there's no reason why you can't have good games in this, and there's no reason why you can't sit there and say, actually, it's not a bad tank. Okay, it comes in a crate, or it did come in a crate, it's not in the store anymore, and that is annoying, because, you know, I don't like crates, never have, never will, but nobody forces you to buy the bloody thing. Simple as that. And then there's a lot of noise made about the advertising. Oh, but Wargaming showed it fighting against a Leo. Oh, that was one of many. And it's advertising. And you know what? If I had a penny for every time an advertiser told me something that wasn't strictly true, I'd be a millionaire. I mean, I remember back in the day when we had a washing powder in the UK called Daz. And the advertising slogan was, get your whites whiter than white. I mean, how the bloody hell can you get something whiter than white? It's either white and clean, or it's not. But people still believe that crap. And that's called advertising. The whole role of advertising is to entice you into getting something. That's the thing. But more for you if you fall for it, to be honest with you. Nobody forces anybody to buy anything. And if you dropped a shed load of real cash in the vain hope that you were getting a broken tank, then, yeah, of course you're going to be disappointed. But what was your expectations? Were your expectations that you only want a broken tank? Or were your expectations after reading all the months? Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of stuff on this tank. Go to Blitz Stars and put it into Tank Compare. Go to Blitz Hanger and have a look at it. And you yourself could have done the research without listening to the crappy advertising coming from Wargaming. You could have found out yourself whether or not this tank is going to A, suit your playstyle, B, be broken ASF, or, or C, be just a mediocre balanced tank in tier 8 that you've got to spend a lot of money for. That's up to you. And I don't understand the hatred towards this tank. I get it's not the best. I get it was in stupid crates. But it's not the worst. By no means is this the worst tank. By no means. And I just don't understand, to be honest with you. I mean, like I say, I don't find the tank that much of an issue. I think it will do the job it does. I mean, look, I've bounced 1,200 here. I've only dished out 1,600. I'm going to, I think I finished this game on 2,000. But I had fun in it. And that's the whole idea, isn't it? To have fun. And it may not be a tank I roll out in religiously because a couple of things. One, it's tier 8. And I'm not a big fan of tier 8 anyway because it's just filled with premium tanks. And two, you know, I don't like really slow lumbering tanks, TDs or whatever. You know, I don't roll out in the T95 that often for the same reason. That's a tier 9. So it's up to you to be at the end of the day, whether you want the tank or not. And if you get the tank and you don't like it, then learn to play it. If you get the tank and you don't like it because of what it is, then do your research first before you buy the bloody thing. Either way, don't hate on a tank because somebody told you to. You know, and I've seen a lot of hate videos on this tank. A lot of hate videos on this tank. And I've also seen videos that if I say something different to the other YouTubers, and I'm always going to say something different if I believe something different, then apparently I'm a sellout to Wargaming. I'm not telling you to buy this tank. I'm telling you to do your own research. And I'm telling you to work out whether or not you want this tank. And if you want this tank, then don't moan about it when it doesn't perform how you expect. If you expect it to be OP. Moan about it if it performs badly and you play it well. That's a different argument. But guys, don't just hate on a tank for, for the sake of hating on a tank anyway. That's been my thoughts on the turtle. It's not a review. Never was going to be. Because I'm not going to do that. You've seen loads of reviews. You are old enough, ugly enough, and whatever enough. Skilled enough to make your own mind up. So make your own mind up. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the Turtle Mark 1. 
We're one of the most hated tanks in the game at the moment. By all means, comment and everything below. And, well, if you've got it, go out and enjoy it. If you haven't got it, you're not missing much. Anyway, stay safe, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.